for today is the first cervical vertebra that is atlas. This is atlas and is the first cervical vertebra. The process to identify this vertebra is as we can see there is neither a body nor a spine. So the body and the spine both are absent in this vertebra. It is ring shaped. It has a shape of a ring. It has an anterior arc, a small anterior arc or a short anterior arc. This is the short anterior arc and long posterior arc. This is the posterior arc of the vertebra of Atlas. There is a lateral mass. These are the lateral masses of the vertebra. The anterior arc, it has a median anterior tubercle. This is the anterior tubercle that is present on the anterior surface of the anterior arc. On the posterior surface of the anterior arc, there is an oval facet. As you can see, on the posterior surface of the arc, there is an oval facet. This facet is present for articulation with dense of axis. Dense of axis, that is dense of second cervical vertebra, attaches in this oval facet of the anterior arc. This is how the dense attaches. This is the anterior side and atlas attaches to the axis. You can see the dense is attached in the oval facet. On the posterior surface, we can see there is a long posterior arc. This posterior arc, it forms about two-fifths of the ring and it has a posterior tubercle on the median side, similar, just similar as the anterior tubercle. We have a posterior tubercle on the posterior arc. This posterior arc is characterized by a groove on the upper surface. It has a groove on the upper surface just behind the lateral mass right here. The lateral masses they have on the superior surface the superior articular facet. This is the superior articular facet which articulates with the occipital condyles of the skull. So the, the skull sits on the superior articular facet and it forms the atlanto-occipital joint. It forms the atlanto-occipital joint. Similarly on the inferior surface we have inferior articular facets. These are the inferior articular facets that articulate with the superior articular facet of the axis and form the atlanto axial joints these are the this is axis we will discuss this vertebra in detail in the next video and this is how the atlanto axial joint is formed the superior articular facet it is concave in shape and it projects upwards and medially Similarly, the inferior articular facet, it is somewhat circular and it faces medially and downwards. Medial to the lateral masses, we have a tubercle. These are the tubercles on the inside of the lateral mass, that is on the medial side of the lateral masses. We can see these tubercles. Lateral to the lateral mass, there are transverse processes. These transverse processes, they project from the lateral side of the lateral mass <clears throat> and they are unusually long. They are unusually long enough. The reason why they are long is because they help in rotation of the head at the atlanto-axial joint. And these transverse processes, they are pierced by a transverse foramina. This is the transverse foramina of the 
transverse process of atlas.